Have you ever wondered if retinols will work for you? Well, <laughs> you're human, of course they will. Watch my video and learn how they work so you can use them with confidence. Have you ever wondered why retinols are so popular? Why are they the holy grail of reversing the signs of aging? Well, then you are in the right place. Today's video is just a quick review of how retinols wield their wrinkle-busting powers. Retinol's other name is vitamin A. There are several chemical shapes and forms of this molecule, so when you combine them all together in a group, the entire class is called retinoids. Plants usually synthesize several of these retinoid molecules, which is great because each one works in an ever so slightly different way, making them more effective than the one-note Nelly prescription retinol cream. But hey, no matter which type you choose, let's talk about how they work. Once a retinoid is absorbed into your skin, all retinoids induce three main actions. The first one happens to be what causes the standard side effects. That is because retinoids' first action is to speed up the rate of skin cell turnover. This makes way for younger, fresher looking skin cells to migrate up to the surface for more vibrant looking skin. However, the downside is the older skin cells must die and flake off first. That's why you need to gently wade into retinol treatment. If you just start with straight up retinol, then the outer surface skin cells will just die and flake off without the newer ones underneath ready to replace them. This results in red irritated skin. So go slow and let all the layers of your skin cells get ready for action. If you haven't already watched my previous video about the rules of retinol use, that's where I explain that point in much more detail. But for now, the point being, if used correctly, retinols will not cause red irritated skin. The next actions by retinols are the most important for long-term success. Retinols have two functions when it comes to helping out our skin's collagen supply. As we age, we make less and less collagen. Remember, collagen is responsible for our skin's firmness and elasticity, AKA it's anti-wrinkle patrol. So what's retinol doing with our collagen? Well, first of all, it binds with the natural human enzyme that's responsible for breaking down our collagen and recycling it. I mean, it can't last forever. This breaking down enzyme is called collagenase. And as we age, our collagen is broken down faster than we're making it. Therefore, our skin gets thinner and saggier. Retinols are known to bind to this enzyme and slow it down. So it doesn't break down the collagen in our skin so quickly. It puts the enzyme collagenase in slow motion, thus preserving more collagen in our skin for longer. The second interaction that retinols have with this enzyme collagenase is and here's why it takes so dang long to see results with retinols. When used over time, retinols not only slow down the function of collagenase enzyme, like I just said, but they also slow down the body's making of this collagen eating enzyme in the first place. Since our body takes six to 12 weeks to make new collagen, it will take six to 12 weeks minimum to see results. But in reality, it could take much longer. Okay, let's break down this timeline in a rational order. First, when we use the retinols, we slowly add them to our skin care routine so that our skin can get used to them and not get flaky and irritated. We should do this over the course of three to four weeks. Then ever so slightly ramp up your treatment to become daily, as tolerated. Following the daily activity, it will take two weeks for our deeper layers of skin to build the concentration of retinols, like a sponge. We need the concentration to accumulate in our skin cells to actually cause a change in the skin's internal chemical signals to go faster. Follow me because now we're at one month to a month and a half since starting the slow treatment of retinol use until our skin cells have enough retinol absorbed to make a difference. On average, it takes two weeks for our body to make new enzymes. So at least two weeks needs to have passed for the effects to be seen from the retinols to influence that collagenase enzyme we talked about earlier. So now we are at two months since we started using the product. And finally, our skin has less of that collagen breaking down enzyme. Next, our body needs to make more collagen. And this process takes six to 12 weeks, which is nearly two to three months on top of that month we just spent getting to this point. Therefore, that is why three months at the soonest, more likely five to six months is when we will finally look in the mirror and see a significant difference of the maximum result you're gonna be able to maintain with retinols. But still, if you are old enough to have wrinkles, then you are wise enough to know that time flies. Just get into the habit of using it, and before you know it, your skin will look amazing. That's really all there is to retinols, people. These three things. Faster skin cell turnover, slowed down enzyme, and less of that enzyme overall. So you can get more cells being made, more collagen left over, thicker skin, and elasticity. It all takes time. Good things come to those who wait. There you have it. Knowledge is power. Go forth and be powerful. Bye for now.